guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be my first Halloween video of the year so right now I'm just priming my face with the Benefit Professional and now I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer all over my eyes as just like a base for my eye makeup um, this makeup look is super super easy because I use this all with just makeup no face paint so you can use whatever makeup you have at home to recreate this look so right now I'm just blending out all that concealer just to give me a nice seamless look. And then I'm going in and just setting the concealer just so when I apply my shadows, the concealer doesn't slip around. So I wanted more of like a cat eye effect with this makeup look. So I'm kind of smoking out with this warm brown color um, and kind of winging it out. And this is a shadow that is from the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. I love this palette. It's super blendable. Um, there's tons of color variety. So this palette is really good for like Halloween and really bright colorful looks. So now I'm just taking more of like a chocolate brown shade from that same palette and just darkening the crease and just blending away. The more you blend, the better this makeup look will look. And now I'm taking just this beautiful teal color from the same Jaclyn Hill palette. I absolutely love this color. Now I did spray my brush with some Fix Plus from MAC. Any setting spray will work. This will just intensify your lid color a little bit more. I do this with all my shimmers and my bright bold colors just to make my lid pop more. And now I'm having a dance break to Bodak Yellow by Cardi B. And I'm taking that warm brown shade and the chocolate brown shade just to blend the teal into the crease. Okay, so now you want to take any black eyeliner that you have. Um, the one I'm using is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, and you just want to smudge out that lower lash line and really just give this look more of a sultry, smoky effect. Okay, now you're going to take that same warm brown and chocolate brown that we used on the crease 
just to smoke out the lower lash line even more using any smudger brush that you have will work. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just clean up the edges and also clean up any fallout that may have happened. That's why it's always good to do your eye makeup first, especially if it's a dramatic eye look, just so it's easier to clean up. Now I kept this part in here just so you can see that mistakes happen. I put my concealer on because I was going to do... A different technique with this look I was going to give myself more um, of a highlighted under eye but then I actually ended up removing this halfway through the tutorial just because I wanted more of my under eyes to be hollow instead of brightened so just don't even worry about this part but this is just me blending out the concealer that I'm gonna take off later on in the video but just wanted to keep this in so you guys can see that nothing's perfect and that mistakes happen Next, I'm just going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. You can use whatever brow pencil you have or whatever brow pencil that you like. Um, that's totally up to you, but this is just my personal preference. And I'm just going to speed this process up for you guys. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you guys would like an in-depth eyebrow tutorial, please comment down below and I'll get that tutorial up for you guys. Okay, so here I'm just taking that Tarte Shape Tape again and just cleaning up the brows, making sure everything looks really nice and sharp.
Now I'm just taking a frosty shadow from that Jaclyn Hill palette just to brighten up my inner corners and also highlight my brow bone as well. Okay, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, I wanted more of a hollow under eye instead of a brightened under eye, so I took off the concealer, and now I'm just taking a lighter shade of foundation um, just to give myself more of a dead skin tone effect, but also give me some coverage to cover up my imperfections on my skin because I still want to be glam, but also look a little dead as well. So I'm also going to cover my lips too because we will be putting some shadow on the lip area as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my face. Any translucent powder will work. I'm using the Cody Airspun powder for this. Now you just want to take any dark gray color or even a black will work as well. Um, just to start hollowing out your cheekbones, we really want everything to kind of pop and look more um, sunken in. And you really just want to use a little bit of product at a time and then just kind of blend out those edges. This is super, super easy to do. You just need to follow your natural cheekbone and kind of drag it down. I used um, one of the shadows from the Kat Von D palette. It was more of kind of a charcoal gray color. And now I'm just taking more of a bronzer brush and I'm just shading in my forehead with that same charcoal gray color. And now you just want to take more um, of a pointed shadow brush and use that same charcoal gray color or a black or whatever color you're using just to shade your nose and contour it a little bit. And then you just want to blend out the edges. Um, you don't have to be super clean with this because the messier it looks, the better actually. Because most zombies, they don't look too precise. And now you just want to take a fluffy brush and darken the mouth area. I'm still using those same colors from before and I kind of took the shadow up above my lip as well. And now I'm taking just a bigger fluffy brush and I'm just using a red color. Any red color will do. And I am just applying that in the darker areas of my cheeks. And if you want, definitely use your fingers. Your fingers will actually help you smudge a little bit better sometimes than brushes. And now I am taking a more pointed brush and I am starting to create those hollows underneath my eyes. And then you'll see that I'm going to blend those out. You can also use your fingers for this as well. Taking that same pointed brush, I am just going to shade around my nostrils. And now you can just shade around where your bone structure is. And here's where I really started to use my hands. I really wanted to look like um, there was handprints on me. It looked like I had been rolling around in the grass and the dirt and just like I got out of a grave. So here's where you can get really, really messy with it. Use a brush, use your hands, whatever you want. Are you afraid of the dark? So just keep adding color and then blending and adding more color and blending until your desired effect that you want. Ooh. 
And now I was going to be wearing a jacket for this look, so this whole neck area is optional. Depending on if you're wearing a higher neck shirt or jacket, you don't have to do the shading part, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what you can do to shade if you are going to wear your neck area out, but definitely add the lighter foundation or white face paint um, to your neck area so that the face matches the neck. I did decide after finishing this look that um, this look wasn't complete without any lashes. So I actually didn't film this, but I did apply Demi Wispies and you probably saw that in my intro and you will see that in my outro. And that's it you guys. Super, super easy. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Zooming in. All right. Oh. Great.